Hi there, Rory Neary from Data Spinners here. This is a Power Apps Room Escape project that I've put together. Everything you see in the app itself is com is completely contained inside the app. So if we were to look at the the media itself, then you see that there's just a whole host of images uh, that have been um, uh, made use of to to create this uh, project. So the first thing. Uh, I'll just just talk you through it generally so I've got some instructions on how to play it it's completely optimized for the iPad so um, so that means that pinch and zoom won't work uh, you get a motion briefing to tell you so excuse me bit of bad um, bit of bad code there so uh, you get a mission briefing to tell you you know who you are and, and why you're there so you're effectively a German soldier that's um, been sent in to uh, to steal certain bits of confidential information from during the war, uh, and then once you once you've gone through that, you you start the mission, and it really is just a a kind of clicking exercise. So there's there's not there's not that much to to click on in the room. There are a few false trails. Um, so, um, but uh, what I'll pick out a few features in here that are interesting. Um, so the first thing is that you know, say for example, uh, if we look at this item here, you can see that it sort of selects here, uh, and so we can look at the on select property, and what it does, it sets the property of the um, the in focus image to be dominoes, which is one of our um, images, and then you navigate to the in in focus screen. And what that does in reality is it it um, takes you to a screen, and if you actually look at this image here, when it finally uh, pops up, it's this GV in focus image that we've just set to be dominoes, and so uh, it's kind of, kind of a nice use of variables. So where I was trying to get to with this was going onto the media and just showing you that the dominoes image is literally just an image of some dominoes. Um, but what that means is that we can use um, we can use less screens in order to build the app. So uh, yeah, and then there's some other interesting things here. I'm just actually going to reset this project. Um, so go back to the start, reset the mission. Um, yeah, that's better. And so I'm going to start the mission here. And what you can see here is you've got this counter on the left hand side, and what that means is is each time you click on it. So obviously you could be, oh crikey, you know, what's going on here? So after you've clicked it a number of times, the information icon appears. Uh, and that's done via a global variable. So what it's, um, if you actually look at the visible property, uh, is if the GV room one count uh, is greater than five, then set it to true. Uh, and effectively what happens is whenever you click on this, uh, so this is on select, it sets the um, it sets the GV room count to GV room count plus one, so it just just iterates through, and then eventually you get the clue, um, and you get to to find out the clue that um, that helps you complete the um, complete the mission. I think the other thing that's cool on this is that. Um, is that I've used a bit of audio on here, so um, so this particular one here kicks off uh, a little bit of a piece of audio which I've not used that much before, um, and what that does. Oh, hopefully you can hear that. I'll, I'll pause that. So essentially, that's Winston Churchill telling people about um, the fact that the Belgians have surrendered, which is one of the things that you need to find out. Uh, and so there's lots of different bits and pieces here. So there's a there's a clue here that um, there's a clue here that uh, look at in order to kind of follow the you know follow the rest of the um, project through. Oh, and he always wakes up. Um, and there's also a little bit uh, a little map control that takes place. The idea is you're supposed to sort of navigate to the map, um, and when you do. You can see that it's seeing it's quite dark, so I think so. The idea is that you turn the light on, and then when you turn the light on, then you get to to click on the uh, the map. So what I'll just show you is that if you click on that's the off button, by the way. If you actually click on the map here, 
it doesn't do anything. It's only when the light is on that the click through is available, which I think is quite neat. So, um, and you've got this little notepad, which I think is quite um, fun, where you can put bits and pieces, uh, A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3. Um, and once you've found the key, yeah, the key actually gets marked as being found because I've created a global variable that um, that uses this. So hopefully you found that interesting. Um, by all means, um, post any questions, queries um, about aspects of how this has been put together and then I can perhaps um, put a video together that um, reflects uh, any of that. Cool. Well, um, yeah. Uh, you know, please like, you know, subscribe, all those sorts of things, and uh, see you again soon. Cheers, bye.